as I have already told you, suppose the content of a cell is A. Okay. My Turing machine tf points to the cell that contains A. Okay. Now on every move and suppose the FSM is in state Q. Okay. Now on every move what is happening? It may either write a new alphabet B and either move to right or move to left. And the FSM may change the state to a new state R. Understood? So the way we, we represent in the transition diagram is like from Q to R, it reads A slash, it writes B, okay? And it suppose it moves to write R. So this way we represent the transition in a Turing machine. Okay. Now in mathematical form, it will be for what, what will be the definition of a transition function? So the delta is the transition function. It is nothing but a mapping of Q cross the tape alphabet. We represent it as gamma. Okay. Now this tape alphabet is different from the input alphabet. Okay. Because the Turing machine may read the blank symbols at a certain uh, step. Okay. It, it does it so so I will tell you what will be the diff, uh, means how the tape alphabet is different from an input alphabet so basically uh, the transition function is a mapping of the states and the tape alphabet to what a new state okay a new content of the cell which is also a tape alphabet and either the movement of the tape that is towards left or towards right. Understood? Any doubt? No, okay. sir. Okay. Then tell me how the input alphabet sigma, so we represent the input alphabet as sigma. So how sigma and the tape alphabet are related? Sigma and gamma are related. How? So, sigma is a subset of gamma. Correct. Because, because the tape contains first the input string and that input string is a uh, cons is constructed from a uh, from the alphabet set input alphabet set sigma. So, I can say that sigma is a subset of gamma. Okay. <coughs> so, can you people now tell me uh, now, how the transition, now the question is, just a second, the question is, let me write, how the transitions of a Turing machine is different from that of a DFA? Can someone tell me? Tell me. So the first thing you will write is the transition function mathematical form. How it is different. So for a DFA it is Q cross sigma to Q. Now it is Q cross sigma to Q and the alphabet set and left and right. Okay, first thing. Secondly, secondly, uh, I can say that the transitions are always deterministic. That means, uh, unlike a NFA thing, where from the uh, where there can be multiple transitions for the same input alphabet, okay, a uh, the Turing machine does not have non-determinism. It is always deterministic in nature. Okay. And thirdly, the there is no transition from the final state. 
unlike a DFA. Because in a DFA, what happens? Suppose uh, I write, just a second, let me. Suppose uh, in a DFA, I have, this, this is the starting state Q0. I go to final state with 0 and with 1, I come back and with 0, I remain there. Okay. So it, it will be, I think, any string that ends with 1, okay. hey, ends with 0. Okay. So, but this is not the case in case of a Turing machine. A Turing machine, what happens? As soon as I reach a final state, okay, the string is accepted. I don't need to read the entire string to accept or reject a string. Understood? So in a Turing machine, what happens? As soon as the tape head reaches a final state, there is no further transitions uh, defined from a final state and hence the Turing machine accepts the string. Okay. So that is the difference between a DFA transition and a Turing machine transition. Understood? Any doubt? Is, uh, Hello. Hello, sir. Yeah. Yes, uh, sir. If a if a input string is half read, and yeah. Then the machine reaches the final state. Then uh, then whether it, it is accepted the string. Yeah. So what I'm saying is, whenever the Turing machine reaches a final state, it accepts the string, irrespective of whether the string is completely read or not. Okay. So that is the that is the main difference of a Turing machine with respect to a DFA. A DFA stops when it reaches when it completely reads the input string, and on the basis of whether it uh, reach whether it is at a final state or at a non-final state, it accept or reject the string. Okay, but in a Turing machine, yeah, tell me. So sorry to interrupt, sir. We couldn't hear the first part, like when you were explaining. Uh, voice was totally like jittered. We couldn't hear you. Okay. So what I'm saying is, what I'm saying is, the main difference between a DFA and a Turing machine is that, in it, in a DFA, we uh, the automata has to read completely the entire input string, and after reading the entire input string. If the automata is in a final state, it accepts the string. And if it is not in a final state, it rejects the string. Okay. But in a Turing machine, it is not the case. Okay. In a Turing machine, if the tape head, uh, while reading an input string and making a transition, the FSM reaches a final state, okay, then it accepts the string, irrespective of whether the whether the tape head completely scanned the input string or not. Okay, I don't care. My FSM reaches the final state, there is no possible transitions from the final state and hence the Turing machine accepts the string. Okay. Understood? Yes, sir. Okay. Now, now let me give you a small quiz. So suppose, suppose FSM I have defined for a Turing machine is like this. So Q, so I am in Q1, okay. And after reading input symbol A, I am going, to, I am writing B. So the transition uh, diagram is written like this. And another transition is given like this. So, so just tell me, so is it visible? Yes, sir. So just tell me, uh, is this state transition diagram valid for a Turing machine? Valid or not? There are no final states. No, no, I am just given two transitions. 
I have not defined any final thing. Means on the basis of uh, the transition function and the things which we have discussed, I am just giving a since uh, suppose the Turing machine is at state Q1. Okay, I have two possible transitions. Okay, so just tell me whether this is a valid one or not. I have not constructed the full uh, Turing machine, just a part of it I have, uh, draw, I have drawn. So what is this first 